Peace, love, and prosperity, family. Girl, see it. Back at it again. Now, I know it's been a minute, but hang in there. Life has been crazy. I graduated. A whole bunch of other stuff. But anyways, I'm back. I'm better than ever. I'm going to start being more consistent. Uh, follow me on Instagram and hit me up if you got any suggestions. Or if you just want to see what I'm doing on a daily basis. So... This topic is why I'm doing this video is more of me talking to myself about what I need to do, but also being able to inspire you to do the same thing. Now, elevation requires separation. Not saying that anybody within my life, you're the cause of where I am, but at the same time, I'm not where I want to be and I can't allow momentary fun to deter me and knock me out of the way of getting where I want to go in life and in order for me to elevate and be successful within my life I have to separate myself for those from those who aren't aligning with where I want to go and where I want to be in life and you need to do the same if you want something then you have to chase after it if the friends and the people around you aren't supporting you then guess what it's time to let go of those people and find new people to hang out with if you're not able to do the things that you want to do you have to separate from the habits and the behaviors that you have in order to get where you want to go elevation requires separation if you're not separating from a bad habit that's holding you back that bad habit will continue to hold you back you're not going to be able to elevate if you're constantly doing things and around people that aren't allowing you to elevate because you will have plenty of friends that will see what you're doing and see where you're headed but they don't want to see you succeed because you might lead them or you know i can't benefit from being around you no more because you're not going to be there once your career takes off or whatever career field that you're going in so take a second to step back and think about what you need to separate from in order to elevate to that next level if you go out let's just use this as an example if you go out you paying five to ten dollars to get in plus a couple dollars for drinks plus food afterwards you're going out spending money that you don't have to begin with but you don't have the money that you need to start your business or your brand or whatever it is that you want to do a side hustle you're not successful because you're not disciplined enough that's why i say you need to separate from bad habits if you got bad habits that are holding you back then it's time to separate from those habits because time is the one thing you would not get back if i'm not putting out genuine content and content that's going to help you improve and change your life or at least teach you something you're going to separate from me. you're not going to want to subscribe and stay subscribed to my channel because that's not bringing value to your life i don't want to be just like every other youtuber that's why it takes me a little bit longer to create good content because i don't want to just be reposting the same stuff like everybody else i don't want to just do random challenges like everybody else i want to be known for being you know an intelligent being that's here to spread my knowledge and empower people to change their lives and to do better and great things with their lives if i'm not elevating and breaking these same habits that i'm telling you to break i'm being a hypocrite i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna tell you to do nothing i haven't already done or i'm not already doing you know i'm separating from friends i'm separating from habits i'm separating from thinking in order to elevate to that next level in life which, to which i want to be in and if you want to do great things then you have to really take a step back and self analyze yourself and say self where do i want to be how do i get there what am I going to do to get there? And once I get there, am I going to continue to separate things out of my life that aren't meant to be there? At the end of the day, nobody can tell you 
what you need to do in order to get from your A to Z. I can't even tell you what I'm going to do to get from my A to Z, but that's my journey. And if you don't learn to look at life like, what do I have to do for me while also being able to give back to others that are less fortunate, then you're going to forever be stuck living out somebody else's dream or working for somebody, living, helping them live out their dream. Sometimes you got to be selfish when it comes down to your future. If you're not selfish enough to say, okay, guys, I don't want to go out tonight. I got to study. I got to read. I got to blah, blah, blah. If you're not self, uh, selfish enough to do that and discipline yourself enough to do these things, you're going to forever get pushed into corners and boxes that you don't want to be in. And then five years down the line, you done wasted five years trying to have these friends that not even are going to be there in the next five years, you know? You never know what the future holds for you or any of your friends. So why, you know, waste time? Why not just cut ties off? If you're not truly enjoying yourself, if you're not living your wildest dream, why sit up here strolling through social media, looking at other people live their wildest dreams, but you're not satisfied with the way that your life is going? Why don't you get up and do something about it? Why don't you separate from that habit of being on social media two, three, four, five, six hours a day and turn that into a habit of reading two hours a day, of working out an hour a day, of looking up healthier eating habits, of looking up um, side hustles that you can learn how to do. Those things are easily can be easily done and can easily separate you from the rest if you don't want to live an average life then why are you hanging around people doing average things separate yourself especially if they're not people within the free in the future where you see yourself you need to surround yourself with people of your future and not of your past you need to separate from people that that aren't doing nothing honestly that aren't doing nothing or they have stepping, you know what I'm saying? Like they halfway doing it. They're not putting 110% in. Like the most ridiculous thing that you can do, that I can do, is say, oh, I want to be a filmmaker. I want to be a director. I want to do this and I want to do that. But each and every day I get up, I'm on social media. I'm strolling through social media. I'm not actively learning anything i'm not actively putting in the time to teach myself these things but then two years goes by and it's like where did the time go and i'm not nowhere near where i wanted to be that's when i have to take a step back to self-reflect and say it's time to separate from my bad habits of wasting two four five six hours on social media and turn that into two three four five six hours of me teaching reading or learning something it's doable honestly if you want something do it and don't let anybody tell you you can't do it period that's that's it that's all just separate from the negativity family separate from the haters separate from just everything if you can't love yourself and be in a company of yourself without having fun i love hanging out with me like i I could be in a room by myself for hours and just be having a blast with myself if you can't have that level of self-love then you will never find anybody to appreciate you care enough about what you're doing to love you enough to push you harder when you're going through a hard time and self-love and loving yourself is the first step from being able to see what is not meant to be in your life and what is meant to be in your life that's all i got for you family until next time separate from that negativity separate from the bad habits separate from your laziness and procrastination and get up and do what you gotta do to make your dream a reality